We have to give Franco credit. He yeah. is as tough as they come. Yeah. Yes. I think he's been sick. You're training. I'll go easy on you tomorrow, mate. <laughs> Here we go. Be ready, mate. Been an iron. I'm George King. Two years ago, I free soldered the Shard and was handed a six month prison sentence. I've spent my life preparing my body and my mind for the extreme challenges I undertake. But I'm always left questioning as to why I do it. I want to spend time with other extreme athletes, discovering how they train and what motivates them, what goes on inside their mind and what makes them tick. These activities are all extremely dangerous and can only be carried out by highly trained experts. Do not attempt to recreate them. This is Rico Franco. He's an MMA fighter turned bare knuckle boxer. Franco wants to hurt him early. Definitely. Oh my days, what an absolute peach. They can, they can count all they want, but that's over. That's a done deal. Two years ago, he reached the heights of the sport. Oh, he's got him again. When he won a brutal world title fight at the O2. A new world lightweight Great champion, champion. Ricardo <laughs> Franco. <laughs> But within months, he had to be admitted to hospital, battling life-threatening bowel disease. After surgery, he'd fought himself back to fitness and he's getting ready to defend his title. I've been looking forward to this one for quite some time. <laughs> yeah, of course I'm excited, mate. We're about to meet the bare knuckle boxing world champion. I used to fight as an amateur in my teens. If it wasn't for the urban climbing, I probably still would be doing it. Always watch bare knuckle boxing. Love the warrior mentality. <laughs> the yes, champ, how are we doing, doing, mate? I'm good. Nice to meet you, man. How are nice we doing? Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, mate. I feel as I told you. <laughs> now, a lot of people box. A lot of people do MMA. Yeah. But very few people think, you know what? F this. I'm going to take the gloves off. I've always wanted to try a bare knuckle fight. You know, it's like the closest you're going to get to a street yeah. fight. Yeah. Oh, people, May the best man win. Let's rev it up and make some noise. You became the bare knuckle boxing champion after yeah. beating Jimmy Sweeney. I mean, you must have visualized that moment for so many years. Ever since that first fight, I'm like, I want to fight him one day. It's a BKB 19. The King, Jimmy Sweeney, the champion against the upcoming and very well-respected Ricardo Franco. Every time I visualized him, it was beating him. Yeah. And that was it. And when it happened, mid-fight, everything was coming true and it was crazy. I think Jimmy's struggling, struggling to breathe. To breathe yeah, there, 100% he is, yeah. yeah. His nose is gone, and I think he's got damage, a lot of damage to the mouth. They'd have to drag Jimmy Sweeney out screaming, the docks. Yeah. But it'll be the docks call, you know. That's, call. Yeah, that's it's it, over. it's over. And we have a new world champion, Tom. What a fight, Tom. What, what a, a fight. fight. Absolutely. That's it, man. On your brother's shoulders. As you're just embracing just, that moment. That's, that just shows how much it was like meant to me. Yeah. like. So you're bare knuckle boxing world champion. Yep. Do you have the belt to show it? I have, mate. I have got the. I've got the gold. Do you want to go and get? <laughs> Let's have a look, mate. Yeah. There's the beast. Got a bit of Jimmy's uh, blood on there still. Know. Looking at that, that must feel f***ing amazing. Feels amazing, honestly. Yeah. What I like about BKB is there's, there's a lot of blood. Rap noses, <laughs> broken jawbones. Some people think, yeah, yeah what the hell, you're crazy. No, no, two men are in there, you're both, yeah. you're both there to do the same thing. With me, when my life is in my own hands, the only time I actually feel yeah. clarity in myself. Yours is on your fingertips. <laughs> I don't think mine's extreme, it's yours. Right, but so it is intense, you're looking at another yeah. man's eyes, it's primal, you know? Yeah, yeah. Does that fuel the fire inside Definitely, you? Definitely, yeah, 100%. Like, I can remember punching in the second round, his jaw split open and it felt like my hands were covered in oil because it was just blood and greasy. And that that fueled a little fire. Yeah. yeah. When I see blood squirting out his face. champion of the world. Ricardo. It was the best feeling ever. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. First time I did a climb. Yeah. I was like, this is it then. <laughs> yeah, the universe is cut out of the way. It's like a drug. It's addictive, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is so addictive. addictive. Rico Franco. He's got that warrior mindset he's got that mentality i'm very much looking forward to sharing the ring with him tomorrow we're at rico's boxing gym i'm going to see what he can do yeah, here's where the magic happens all good mate how are you doing see you again you ready for a 
session. Man. Absolutely. <laughs> All the belts up there. What do you think about the Jake Paul, Lo Logan Paul sort of stuff then? YouTubers coming in. Come to me back down and we'll have a straight <laughs> When you're in a bare knuckle fight, where are you aiming for? So I, just, I mainly aim for the chin. Yeah. I do like the left body shot. I can feel it just there. <laughs> we'll just have a little shadow box to warm up, get loose. <laughs> it looks good, doesn't it? Right. It's one thing fighting with gloves, different yeah. thing fighting without. What's the technical difference fighting without a glove? It's important when you're, when you're throwing bare knuckle shots, keep the whole arm it like straight. You know what I mean? It's one of them straight shots, everything straight and not like bent at an angle because otherwise you're going to cause damage. Yeah. Rico, you've gone through some serious adversity in your life, one of which is a disease. Yeah. Ulcerative colitis. Um, it's an autoimmune disease and a bowel disease. Pretty, pretty much ill all the time, always constantly on the toilet, cramping. It's pretty bad, like, yeah. Got the allostomy bag in November. Two major surgeries. That's my small intestine out of the stomach. It's like a couple of inch. You've been through some bad Do you have to take it off when you have a fight? No, I keep it on, yeah. I don't even realise it's there now. It's so it's, it's come, come part of it, your yeah. part of your body. Yeah. If you were to get hit in the bag, did nothing happen or is this Yeah, I'm not sure. I've not been fully punched in it yet, yeah. but you, you know you're proud to show it and you're, yeah. you're willing to carry on doing what you do. <coughs> it's the thing which yeah. kept you alive. I mean yeah, without exactly. it you'll be dead man. I know, so hundred percent. Is the main man. This is my head coach, Danny Mitchell. Danny, nice to meet How's you, mate. Nice, to, nice meet you, to meet you. I've been training Rico for the best part of 10 years now. I believe you, you actually yeah. lost your first two fights. I lost my fights. first two fights, yeah. Lost his first two, so yeah. most people, after losing the first two fights, away, yeah. you probably not see him again. But <laughs> Rico stayed the course and you know started coming over training with me mm. and uh, eventually just ended up you know full-time training yeah. with me and, and living the fight life. What a shot that was! A lot of people, they look at bare knuckle and they see all the blood, the cuts, and they'll be like, that's brutal, that's yeah. dangerous. Yeah. You can't just go crazy and waste mm. shots. Mm. You've got to be precise mm. with your punches. So in a way, it's a little bit safer almost. Mm. You yeah. take, yeah. Sternly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're taking less damage. When yeah. you look at his face after a bare knuckle fight, he's got lots of cuts, bruises, he's bleeding. It looks really bad, but that internal repetitive mm. damage it's not there, it's yeah. not like a glove. I remember watching it, it was, like, probably you know, five, six years ago, it was hay bales in pubs and that. Yeah. Now it's becoming almost like a, it's a fully legal thing, there's regulations and it's, yeah. it's booming. Last time you sparred, do you know what I mean? Oh, good, sick you. Not many people can just jump in sparring yeah. with a BKB job. <laughs> give me some digs, you give me some nice shots. Thank really you, good. mate. I feel like I've got something out of my system. It's once in a lifetime opportunity to share the ring with a bare knuckle yeah. boxing champion. It's a beautiful thing, even getting hit. Oh, yeah. Every punch I was getting hit, I was in a weird way enjoying it. It's so it's, yeah, so savouring the punches. <laughs> I was chatting to Rico last night. I said, before I leave this earth, I somebody swear that I'm a bare knuckle fight. On 14th of August, you're defending your belt against Jimmy Sweeney. Yeah, I'm going in there to win and that's all yeah. I'm gonna do. I've sacrificed my life to this sport and I'm ready to I'm ready to die in the ring. Yeah. <laughs> Does your partner enjoy watching a fight or is she looking through through her hands like that? It must be hard for her seeing seeing your partner getting yeah. smacked in the ring. Yeah. You know, you can hear her screaming and shouting as well, you know, because she's that buzzing. I'm quite psychotically obsessed, you know, I don't sleep at night because my thoughts are just racing, my goals, my dreams. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even on a day-to-day -day basis, I do struggle sleeping because 
I'm thinking of like the next day, I'm thinking of the fight night. I'm... It's given me this obsessive drive and I, I obviously see it with you, just yeah. in a different form. And when I look back at pictures and uh, or if I'm going through a hard training session, like really intense and I want to give up, you know, I just think of like the tough times I've been through, where I was laying on that deathbed, like my stoma ripped open. I go back to these dark places and I get a, I get a boost of adrenaline and that's it, I'm straight, I'm finishing that workout, 100%. And that's what gets me through, 100%. Would you say you've got any fear coming into the ring? No fear at all. It's more like little nerves and stuff, but it's more exciting nerves. Mm. If you don't have nerves, then you're not normal. Mm. You've got, everyone has nerves, you know what I mean? When you're climbing your building, you've got nerves, but it's more exciting adrenaline nerves. Um, and you need them nerves to get you going. But there's definitely no fear there. If there was fear, then I'm in the wrong sport. And, I should take up table tennis. But... <laughs> <laughs> what a day. It was a great honour to share the ring with him, get a feel for his moves, learn from the best, and learn mainly from his mindset. The man's been through hell and back, but he still keeps on going. He's, he's such an inspiration.